What's up YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. For today's video, we're gonna make it a bit more gear centric. We'll be checking out my vintage Fender Deluxe Reverb amp and hopefully answer the question, can it do the Jerry Garcia tone? And we'll approach today's video in two different ways. The first way is we'll check out the amp with my everyday settings. Then we'll throw on the classic Garcia settings, which we all know is a ton of treble and almost no bass to see how those two clean tones compare. So with all that being said, let's dive right into today's video. So gear wise for today's video, I'm using my PRS Silver Sky into my everyday pedal board that has the addition of the Electro Harmonics q in the front of the chain or the MXR Duke of Tone for a bit of light overdrive. And that's going into the Deluxe Reverb Amp, into Luna, and straight to you. <laughs> so let's dive right into the blank. approaching an amplifier's EQ section, my approach is always to try and get an even sound. You know, not a lot of bass that is super fluffy on the low end, nor a ton of treble to make it ice picky, and just a bit of reverb. And as you can see from this B-roll, these are my current amp settings on the deluxe reverb. Volume on three, treble 4.5, bass at five, and reverb just above two. And that's giving me a really even clean tone, whether it's the Silver Sky, the Les Paul, or my Telecaster. And let's remember, the Garcia tone is essentially a clean tone, a clean Fender amp, right? And for me personally, the sound that gets me super inspired to play is a deluxe reverb like I have here. And in the Garcia context, it sounds really good. Check it out. I mean. Even over these Bertha chord progression, you can hear it's still super balanced, right? Great clean tone. Now, if needing a bit of extra, you know, light overdrive, that's when I'll throw in the MXR Duke of Tone, right? So check it out. Here is the tone with no Duke of Tone. Let's say we do something like. <laughs> Drive. Check it out. Thank you. 
sort of mimics the amp working just a bit harder. And I think for maybe like a late 80s Garcia tone, that sounds really cool. So that is my current Garcia tone, a balanced, clean tone. Now let's check out the same amp with the Garcia type settings. Garcia amp settings, treble at eight and bass at two. Let's see how it sounds. So instantly, not a lot of body on the sound and a ton of air, very, very sparkly and the top end. And the reality is in a band context, you know, you wouldn't need a ton of bass or if any, you would mostly rely on mid frequencies as well as treble. So in essence, this is more of an extreme version of that. Right. And let's also put into perspective the gear that's being used. None of this is really Garcia gear, you know, but this is, an, is a setup that a lot of us maybe have a silver sky with a deluxe reverb and a couple of pedals. So to me personally, does this setting inspire me to want to keep chasing that tone? The answer for me would be no. Yes, does it sound like the recordings that I love? Yes. But is it a sound that makes me want to play more? Not really. I would go back to a more balanced sound. So let's check out the same setup, but with a more prominent effect with the electroharmonics Qtron. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, all right, guys, that is today's video, hopefully answering the question, can the Fender Deluxe Reverb Amp do the Jerry Garcia tone? And for me personally, the answer is yes. And let's remember that the Garcia tone is a Fender clean tone. And we looked at two different types of clean tone, one being the more balanced sound, the other being the more Garcia extreme sound with a ton of treble and not a lot of bass. Two very different versions of a classic Fender clean tone. And most importantly, it's all depends on what's your preference and the context that you're using this amp in, you know? So with all that being said, if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.